sticks right in pretty easy so if you have foam really look for it you can use styrofoam this is normal foam just packing foam but really look around try to use that what we went with was our cardboard and as much as it works it's way way easier with this so if you can find some foam that's what I really recommend and then the last thing you're gonna need is maybe a bucket a cloth or just something that you're gonna use to make as weights toys blocks Legos beads little pebbles, it's up to you, whatever you can find. And so now, right now what we're doing is we're just making a bunch of little holes to make it easy to put our pasta in uh, through the cardboard. If we don't, our pasta breaks, watch. Really, really it easy. It would be impossible. Dun, dun. Dun. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys. Now that we have all of our pasta in place, what we're gonna do is, because it's kind of wobbly and if we put just anything on top of it, it'll fall. It's pretty sturdy and it's pretty strong, but if you look around, like the noodles wanna move around. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have Miss Bianca help me kind of hold the noodles as close together as we can right now. And I'm gonna put a cloth. If you guys have a towel, a rag, a shirt, anything, it'll work. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna give it a nice little platform right up here. And now it doesn't add too much weight, but what it does is it'll keep all of our pasta together so that it doesn't go all crazy and start breaking apart. If we put something in the middle and our pasta all goes to the side, it's gonna drop straight down. This way, you can kind of spread out the weight and we can add more and more stuff as we go. So now let's just start seeing how much weight we can take. First off, tissue box. Easy. Success. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start Filling this up. So first, let's see, can it hold the tub on its own? Oh, you saw that. I threw it with some force too. Don't yes. throw it with force. It can definitely, Place it. It can definitely hold it up. Place it nicely like this. And what we're going to do is we're just going to slowly start adding weight uh, just to kind of see how much we can go and then see what our breaking point is. So first, we got a good old deck of flashcards. Easy. Next is, what is that? Some little science kit thing. Growing crystals. <laughs> Next. Books. All right, you guys know books can be pretty heavy, but this is in the, oh my, oh my. What happens, what happens if she lets go? Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I say we got a good amount of weight on there. It wasn't super crazy, but one thing that you can do for this experiment, and if you zoom in and you take a look at the pasta and you try to get like right next to it, you can see that a lot of these pastas are different heights. Like this one's all the way up here, this one's down here. If you have the time and you really wanna see how good this project is, try to make all the pasta the same height. So if you have scissors, cut them off, cut them all, and then try to make it all one exact level. Just like when you go mowing your grass, you want one flat level. If you get a really, really flat surface, I bet you anything you'll probably be able to get four to five times the weight on there. Right now, the main reason that our stuff broke is like, you, like I said, we had one tall noodle right here, a small noodle. So when we have, let's say, 10 tall noodles, it's only really 10 noodles holding it up instead of all of these that we had. So eventually what we'll do, and if we ever do this project again, I think what we're gonna wanna do is just cut them all up to make sure that they're all the exact same level 
and then we can really, really see how much weight these things can hold up. Alright guys, it has been a positively great day. We have proven that this activity is not impossible. And if you guys do this at home, make sure you clean up your mess and follow the directions that we gave you so that you can have a positively great time. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time at The, the Grove! Grove. <laughs>